everyone, we are heading to Ensenada. Um, driving from SoCal down there, we got a um, a dive on Sunday. Currently, it's or that's tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, and then uh, possibly short dive the day after. But we're heading down to Ensenada. Um, unofficial kind of annual Mexico trip that always happens. So. Um, yeah, excited. Let's head out. It is currently 5.56 a.m. We got up a little later than uh, planned, but it's all right. Still bright and early. Gonna head down to Mexico to spearfish and also enjoy some delicious Mexican cuisine. Just stopped by Oceanside to get some coffee. I'm gonna stop by a local spot or we believe is local. It's called the Ignite. No affiliation, just trying something new. Let's see how it is. Alrighty, we just grabbed our coffee. The spot, the Ignite. What, what'd you say? Like, when, they, when did they start? Uh, just July. July. Yeah. They just started in July. They're in Oceanside. Check out Ignite Coffee. I got their batch brew. I got a Cortado. Extra, oh, a little large. Closed. Yeah. All right, but uh, but yeah, I just uh, grabbed some coffee. Um, might take one more stop before we go down south, but um, yeah, we're pretty much almost at the border. And the water, you can't see it. We are about to head through. It's a little bit busier at this, um, I guess, uh, entry and exit point of between Mexico and the US, but uh, a lot busier than Mexicali, Cali, Mexico. So they're actually two cities um, bordering each other in the Sea of Cortez area um, entry point. But uh, yeah, nevertheless, it should be pretty quick. They usually don't check anything in terms of uh, passport or anything when you head in. It's when you come back into the US, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Heading down um, to Ensenada, and there is a toll option. I would recommend you take it. Um, it's not very expensive, and on top of that, the road conditions are just smoother, and you get there quicker. So, here's a toll station. So here it is. For those of you that are curious, the quota or the fee is a uh, two two fifty five USD or forty three pesos for the car. Here, there's tacos down on like every corner. We're just gonna have a little sampling. There are tacos stands on every corner. Amazing. 
You essentially grab the your main, main meats and then you build it yourself. Alright, I want this. You want I'll everything. Here we go, we have one pescado, one camarón. No, this is camarón. No? Oh yeah, you're right. Pescado, camarón. Or pescado. And by the way, this is this was 3.30 for both. What do you think? Got some bread, very local shop, classic. Uh, I'm sorry, in my fun. This is like a cinnamon roll. I'm sorry for those Spanish speakers and for those from Mexico. I'm probably butchering this like crazy. Um, but this is like a cracker. I'm just gonna eat it. It looks good. Hmm. It's very homemade. Really good, not too sweet. Very good coffee. But keep going. Kind of the touristy area next to the water. Heading to one of our favorite spots, Angelitos. Oh yeah, looks delicious. Ooh, this looks good. Pick that out, Arabado. Cabeza? Cabeza. 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 Oh, yeah. Alright, let's try it. Out of auto. Check out this very local brewery. Check out these portions, my god. So this is tostadas, three tostadas, two pollo, one plata, and then these are enchiladas. Comes with chips, salsa. Um, yeah, I think we'll have plenty of nutrients for the diet tomorrow. Let's go. The next day. Good morning, everyone. It is 6.11, we're driving over. We're supposed to get to the meeting spot by 6.40. Um, so we're gonna get ready, um, get on our gear, and then um, our fishing charter is gonna meet us up at seven. So we're gonna head out, uh, we're staying inshore today, and hopefully landing a yellow. That is the goal. So, let's see. Let's head over.
Let's go! We are here at the first spot, ready to dive. One of three for the day. Here we go, Captain Yeko guiding us to some possible yellowtail. That's the goal, but here we have our Pathos 85 sniper roller that you are all probably familiar with. This is my go-to and only gun that I have currently. But for yellowtail, I would probably advise you grab something larger. This probably just cuts it. Um, cuts makes the cut because it has a little bit more flexibility because you can adjust the bands underneath and on top for more power anyway here we go uh, we have the gun ready and here's my first dive of spot one or the first dive of the day and you can see here I wanted to point this out as I'm going down what I typically like to do is go somewhere somewhat shallow uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 feet and I try to go all the way to the bottom equalize along the way and then come back up so um, you can see here I don't do that I stop kind of halfway ish um, and the reason why I do that is because I start to feel a pressure on my right eye and I just can't seem to equalize and the moral of the story here is don't push it stay there try to depressurize if you can't go back to the surface and try again after you're relaxed and have rested a little bit because this can really ruin the rest of your day so i just wanted to point that out with that being said let's go First fish of the session here we go coming down and it is gonna be a sheephead on the bottom left you see it swimming away right in the middle now and I think I spooked it on the way down but I do want to remind everyone at this point I dove a couple times equalizing has not been a problem now and I'm coming down no problem but the hope is back to the fish I'm hoping it's just around this rock so I slowly make my way over and I don't see it anymore so I'm pretty bummed at this point I'm like ah, I missed it I spooked it and it's gone so at this point I'm patiently waiting maybe something else will come along and to hopefully attract it which I do see it in the far distance I'm scraping the rock with my left hand to mimic potentially another fish cracking some uni some sea urchin to eat so here it comes back because it's curious take the shot land a really solid holding shot right behind the fin front fin and I pull it up and we have our first fish of the day. And you know the drill, dispatch the fish, bleed it out, and then I usually gut it.
this is about 40 feet down and this is the big one the big they're almost almost 30 pounds 35 to 36 inch sheep head that I got to land and you see it coming down this alley here right at the bottom I notice it passing by it's swimming away and I just know if I let it go I won't have a shot so I take it not the best shot so the fish takes off goes through a tunnel you can see it fighting there it just went through this small tunnel there I swim to the surface and I think of a game plan to go get it So I strap my knife around my right hand to get ready to dispatch it if I need to down there or cut the line if I get tangled. Um, I pull the line, make sure that I can't pull it up anymore, and then so I know a clear shot down where I need to be, and I go for it. Go down. So there it is, that's the hole the sheep head is in. You can see the mono leading into that cave. Its tunnel actually goes all the way through, but I pull to see, to get a better look of what kind of shot placement I got here. And you can see it's on the upper back area. So not the best shot, not the most secure. So I don't want to pull too hard. And I pull slowly, it keeps fighting me, and I'm just giving it a firm tug. I grab at the back of the tail, or I try to, and I'm slowly pulling this guy back up. Tail, but we got the nice sheep head. Oh, I'm video recording right now. What number are What's you the at? Weight? Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's the weight? 29.34. Okay. I want to get that. Let's get a picture. I want to get a photo. Woo! Hey, congrats to my boy Sancho. <laughs> this thing's a freaking big. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It tore my wetsuit. You know <laughs> It tore my whistle even yeah, though it's dead. Yeah. The strength, oh my god. The dome. As of now, we only have three sheephead. Uh, one potentially record for the area, which I'm very excited about. But uh, we're, there's apparently a good spot for yellowtail, white sea bass here. So we're gonna check it out. Let's go. And we're off, yo. Yellowtail! Here I come!
that pretty much wraps it up for what happened during the dive but i do have some information to share this is from my garmin descent uh solar uh these are the first two spots that we dove i dove 19 times deepest being 48 feet my longest dive was a minute 24 uh, average depth 24 you can read the uh, specs there but essentially I wanted to share this um, going forward for any one of you that are curious and any of you that are more experienced if you have any uh, pointers please let me know here's some more information on more details on the dive right here um, specifically this is for the first two spots and I'm gonna get around to showing the third one in three two one you can see by the information on the third spot, dove 10 times, longest was 57 seconds. And overall, I just wasn't diving the way I should be. We could have stayed out a little longer, but it just wasn't worth it. We were both struggling, so we called it a day. Here's some more information on the third spot. If you have any insights or things you'd like to share about this or things I should focus on, please let me know, but here it is. All right, everyone, just wrapped up our spearfishing session here in Ensenada. Uh, we hit three spots today in the general area, and uh, it varied um, pretty much, but it was an awesome dive nevertheless. We did not get our uh, target yellowtail. It's been a little rough this season from what I hear, but uh, nevertheless, we got four sheephead, I believe, one massive one, almost 30 pounds, possibly a regional record, but shout out to our captain. Yoko, he's the man, uh, but yeah, he's been awesome um, on this dive and also the dive two years ago. We're going to keep coming back, but uh, thank y'all for watching. we will see you on the shore. We are back. We're going to try the menudo today. Didn't want to eat that before a dive. Oh, Barian. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to this. Post dinner, time for some dessert. Delicious churros. Dessert, mangoes, nieve cono. I got mango. Time for some post dog. Bruce. This place is very nice. Too nice for us, to be honest. Look how nice this place is. wrap up the evening going back to uh what is it called we're going to camera 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 cerveceria yes a local uh brewery that we went to yesterday but we want to see what the vibe is three years in a row in mexico and Today. he still doesn't know spanish i will learn i learned by eating Check out this waffle crepe place. Very cool. Cooking cream, ice cream, Kinder oh. candy, oh. Okay. Do you want one more for Fresca, yeah. and Nutella. The next day. Good morning, everyone. It is today is the third. Uh, we're gonna head back today, so I'm gonna grab some tacos. 
at 7.30 in the morning. They open at 7. They close at 8. Every day for uh, fish tacos, cameroon, shrimp, and some other things. But we're going to get some cameroon tacos for breakfast. Let's go. Those Cameroon shrimp, fish, it's delicious. Look at that fresh, fresh salsa over there. It's delicious. Oh my god. Let's go, boy. Here we go. Cameroon taco. Just wrapped up. We had three tacos each, two camarón, one pescado. Uh, ended up being eleven dollars, or it was like ten thirty uh, for six tacos, and they were amazing. So we love Mexico. Viva <laughs> Mexico. Now we're gonna grab some coffee before we head back. A cafe La Marina. There you go. That's yes. So nice in here. All right, everyone, just wrapped up. We are almost at the border, just in line to cross into the US of A, land of the free, home of the brave. Um, all right, no alto, I guess, but uh, yeah, so we're about to head out. It was a fantastic time at Ensenada. Um, went out with Yeko again, caught some sheephead, one bazooka, but almost 30 pounds, just shy of 30 pounds. Personal best by far, um, but yeah. Just got back, now we're gonna fillet our sheephead. We're gonna go from smallest to largest. Here's a fillet from a from a pretty similar sized or uh, another sheep head. Okay, I think you I think you get the idea. Oh boy.
Here's that massive sheep head I got to land in Ensenada, just shy of 30 pounds. I'm gonna take off the, the collars, then I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna boil it, preserve, I'm gonna eat some of the meat, but also more, most importantly, preserve that mouth over there. Boil it, take out the bones, let it dry, and then continue the process, I'm making a little trophy. Finally got the collar separated. It took a long time. There's the head. Had to use a cleaver to break some of the bones. Something interesting is at the bottom of the mouth, looks like there's some sort of, I don't know if teeth are the right word. Check that out. That's right at the back bottom of the mouth. All right, here we go. Got a hook set. Up slowly, drop it in there. Still wrapping up, but just about done. Got a nice bowl of meat, head meat here. And then check out the skull. You can see where I brained it right there knife it looks like I went in and twisted a little bit but yeah so that's where I brained it check that massive eye socket out wild so there's the job there is plenty of meat that came off this piece this massive piece here it's still extremely hot so we can get a little taste test So good. Yeah, it's a lot of cartilage or um, stuff around the mouth, lips, forehead. Still plenty of meat in here to use, so nothing will go to work. All right, everyone, just wrapped up. Um, we cooked up some sheep head, cut some raw, made some rolls, did a ton of food, um, but we are ready to grub now. First, I start off to my right. We have this beautiful sheep head collar from that big one I caught. Absolutely massive. We'll probably have some leftovers, but can't wait to dig into that. In the center, we just have some fresh sheep head sushi. We're gonna put this in what we call in Korean chodang, which is this spicy sauce here. And then we also have some ponzu and some soy sauce. So there's plenty of options for the raw um, sheep head. And we also continuing on that raw format, kind of across the board, we have some sheep head sushi. Um, and we, in these rolls, we have the orange ones are with spicy mayo, mix it up, chop some sheep head up and put it into a roll. And then the kind of green white colored one is wasabi mayo. And then we have some nari here, uh, just is just plain, made some tamago. If you haven't used a tamago pan, I highly recommend it. Um, it's absolutely awesome. Um, so tamago here, tamago sushi, or yeah. And then we have um, some other ones topped with our spicy mayo um, sheep head, spicy mayo, or spicy wasabi mayo sheep head as well. But a ton of spread here. This is just our nice presentation spread, but we have a ton of leftovers on the side. But I can't wait to dig in. Um, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to have a little bit of each. So I'm going to start with the collar. This has a really nice glaze on it. Check that out right there. Oof. Mmm. It's so tender. Super, super tender. That's delicious. Let's do um, one more. We'll do a spicy mayo sheep head. Dip it in a little bit of soy sauce. Mmm. So good. Both those things are amazing. I'm gonna keep eating. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.